What's a good word to describe the Belgians with Christmas? Hello everyone, I'm Catherine Desina Sapelin and today we're discussing December in Belgium. I think a good word to describe the Belgians with the month of December is selfish. And you might be thinking, isn't that a little harsh? No, and here's why. If you come to Belgium, why aren't you in Belgium? Belgium is awesome. You'll discover that the Belgians don't have just one Christmas entity, they have two and a half. First up is St. Martin, who I recently learned, thanks to my name is Joey, that he is a guy that comes from the Netherlands and he was some person, a saint, somebody who worked in the church, but he gave his cloak to a cold man outside and then people are like, that's a good thing to do, let's have a festival for him every year. This guy comes to Eper in November to give out candy and presents to the little children in Eper because Sinterklaas, who comes in December, is too busy to go visit the people in Eper. So, so Sinterklaas sent his brother, St. Martin, to go to Eper to take care of them. And as far as I know, St. Martin doesn't visit anybody else in Belgium. But yeah, if you come from Belgium and St. Martin visits you, tell me in the comments below. Second up, is Sinterklaas, which I imagine most people know about him because of Zwarte to Pete and the blackface, which hey, if you want to hear about that, come back on Wednesday because I'm doing a video. So the way this thing works is that Sinterklaas, he lives in Spain and he sails along the coast on a steamboat of all things and comes to Belgium where he and his helpers give candy and leave presents to the children. And the way that I've experienced it is that normally there's a day when Santa Claus comes to town to say hello and the little children can go there and they can get candy, which, you know, is great. And then there's the day that Santa Claus comes and he gets on his horse, which is named Hatwir Islak, which translates to the weather is bad. And that's funny because it's Belgium. <laughs> And it's a magical flying horse that goes on all of the housetops and then he gets off the horse, he sends his little helpers down the chimney where the little kids will have left their shoes filled with the carrot and they'll take the carrot for the horse and then they'll leave cookies, some oranges and a toy. And then they go back up through the chimney and they magically fly to the next house. But don't worry children, if you don't have a chimney, it's okay because he'll just jump down from the roof and go in through the front door, which makes me wonder why he's bothering to even fly on top of the housetops. Like just, just go down the road. I feel like it'd be so much more simple. But wait, what happens when you're a naughty child, you ask? Well, the punishment is so horrible. Center class is going to take you to Spain where you'll get to work in a toy factory. How is that a punishment if you're a child? I don't think the Belgians thought this through. So this is going to be a cultural reference which most people won't get unless you're from Belgium. But the destination of choice if you're a Belgian to go on vacation is Spain. So I don't see how having to go to Spain, oh gosh, it's so horrible, would actually be a punishment. And then if you're a child, I feel like working in a toy factory would be like the best thing to ever happen to you. So surprisingly, the children are still really good in Belgium considering the choices are candy or working in a toy factory where it doesn't rain. And finally, we have the Kiersman, the guy who comes on the 25th. I have been told by a few people that in Belgium, people typically only do the Kiersman or center class, and it's very unusual for people to do both. So I guess I must have a lot of unusual friends in Belgium because most of the Belgians I know actually do both. But it seems like there's more presents for Sinterklaas than for Christmas. That's what I have for you guys today and I'd love to hear back from you about what you do in the winter. Do you celebrate Christmas? Do you not have a winter holiday? Is it something else entirely? 
tell me about it in the comments below because holidays are amazing and awesome. Sharing this video with your friends, family, and strangers on the internet will earn you my undying love and devotion for all of eternity, or at least until my next video. If you can't get enough of me, be sure to check out the description for all my social media, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tote scenes, may apple zines. As a child, my grandparents made me write letters to Santa Claus thanking him for the presents that he gave me, and we'd also leave out cookies because he's working hard. He works all night, guys, in the cold. They don't give Santa Claus cookies in Belgium because they're mean. Why, why aren't you giving the man cookies? Like, have a heart.